ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪರಿವರಾಜಕಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೋದೃಶದ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ 
His divine grace is he, Bhaktivedanta Goswami Maharaj, Shula Prabhupada Ki, Ananda Koti Vaishnava Brandha Ki, Namacharya Srila Haridas Thakur Ki, Prem Sakaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakti Vrindha Ki, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopu Gopinad, Shama Kundu Radha Kundigiri Govardhan Ki Jai, Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki, Shri Navadvip Dham Ki, Shri Jagannath Puri Dham Ki, Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Yamuna Mai Ki Jai, Tulsi Devi Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki, Kali Yuga Pavan Harinam Sankirtan Ki, Shri Shri Radha Gopinath Ki, Nitai Gaur Primanandi, All Glories to the Assembled Devotees, All Glories to the Assembled Devotees, All Glories to the Assembled Devotees, All Glories, All Glories to Shri Guru and Shri Gauranga, All Glories to Shri Lagrabhupa. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam namaskritya naram jaiva narottamam Devim sarasvadim vyasam tato jayamudiraye Nashta prayesha bhadreshu nityam bhagavata sevaya Bhagavati ruttama shloke bhaktir bhavati nashtishu Reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, chapter 12, entitled Birth of Emperor Parikshit, text number 10 and 11. Astratejaha Svagadaya Niharamiva Gopatihi Vidyamantam sannikarshe Paryaikshatasa ityasau Astratejah svagadaya Niharamiva gopatihi Vidyamantam sannikarshe Paryaikshatasa Astratejasvagadaya Niharamiva Gopatihi Vidyamantam Sannikarshi Paryaikshatakas Ityasau Yeah. <laughs> 
Radiation of the Brahmastra Swagadaya by means of his own club Niharam drops of dew Eva like Gopihi the sun with Vidhamantam, the act of vanishing. Sannikarshe, nearby. Paryaikshata, observing. Kaha, who? Itiyasau, this body. Translation The Lord was thus engaged in vanquishing the radiation of the Brahmastra, just as the sun evaporates a drop of dew. He was observed by the child who thought about who he was. <coughs> There's no purport to this, so we'll go to the next verse. Vidhu yatadame yatma bhagavan dharma gubhibhuhu Mishato dashama mashasya tatrai vantar dadhe harihi. <coughs> Translation While thus being observed by the child, the Supreme Lord, Personality of Godhead, the Super Soul of everyone, and the Protector of the Righteous, who stretches in all directions and who is unlimited by time and space disappeared at once. <clears throat> Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Child Parikshit was not observing a living being who is limited by time and space. <clears throat> there is a gulf of difference between the Lord and the individual living being. The Lord is mentioned herein as a supreme living being unlimited by time and space. Every living being is limited by time and space. Even though a living being is qualitatively one, one with the Lord, quantitatively there is a great difference between the Supreme Soul and the common individual soul. In the Bhagavad Gita, <coughs> Both the living beings and the supreme being are said to be all pervading. Yena sarvam idam tatam. Yet, there is a difference between these two kinds of all pervasiveness. A common living being or soul can be all pervading within his own limited body. But the supreme living being is all pervading in all space and all time. A common living being cannot extend its influence over another common living being by its all-pervasiveness. But the Supreme Super Soul, 
the personality of godhead is unlimitedly able to exert his influence over all places and all times and over all living beings and because he is all pervasive unlimited by time and space he can appear even within the womb of the mother of child parikshit <clears throat> he is mentioned herein as the protector of the righteous anyone who is a surrendered soul unto the supreme is righteous and he is specifically protected by the lord in all circumstances the lord is the indirect protector of the unrighteous also for he rectifies their sins through his external potency the lord is mentioned herein as one who is dressed in 10 directions this means dressed with garments on 10 sides up and down he is present everywhere and can appear and disappear at his will from everywhere and anywhere he disappeared from the site of the child parikshit does not mean that he appeared on the spot from any other place he was present there and even after his disappearance he was there although invisible to the eyes of the child this material covering of the effulgent <coughs> firmament is also something like a womb of the mother nature and we are all put into the womb by the lord the father of all living beings he is present everywhere even in this material womb of mother durga and thus and those who are deserving can see the lord <coughs> om ajnati mirandhasya ज्ञानांजना शलाकया चक्षुरुन्मीलितं येन तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्टं स्थापितं येन भूतले स्वयं रूपकदा मह्यं ददाति स्वपदांतिकं वन्देहं श्री गुरु श्रीयुतापदकमल श्रीगुरोन्वैष्णवाश्चीपम सागृजात सह गणरघुनाथन्वित सजीव सैत सवधूत पिजना सहित कृष्णचैतन्यदेव श्रीराधाकृष्णपाद सह गणलिताशाखान्विता नमा ओं विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगत गोपेश गोपी राधाकांत नमोस्तु दे तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछाकुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निंद श्री अद्वैत गिभाष दिगौरभक्त 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. Hare Krishna. So, welcome everyone to our Sunday morning Srimad Bhagavatam class. Today we are discussing from the first canto, 12th chapter, entitled Birth of Emperor Parikshit. The first canto basically speaks about qualification. Qualification of the speaker of Bhagavatam. What are the qualification of Shukadeva Goswami? What was the qualification of Sutta Goswami? It also speaks about the qualification of the hearer. What was the qualification of Maharaj Parikshit for listening to Srimad Bhagavatam? Bhagavatam means <clears throat> basically three things Bhagavan, Bhakta, and Bhakti. The qualification of this book is also described in the first canto. Why is Bhagavatam considered so important? What is it about Bhagavatam? When was it compiled? How was it compiled? What, what inspired compilation of this scripture? The qualification of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the cause of all causes, the source of Satyam Param Dhimai. And the qualification of the person who can actually understand. <coughs> so, from chapter 7 to 11 that we have been covering in the last few weeks and months, the nature of the Lord is described as Bhakta Vatsala. How he protected Parikshat Maharaj in the womb of Uttara because she took shelter. How he reciprocated with Kunti Devi. How he reciprocated with Yudhishthir Maharaj by changing his plan. Thy will be done. Krishna's will, if he decides, no one in this creation can change his plan. But a devotee has a power to change his plan. Ajita Jito Pisa. Ajita, Lord is unconquerable, but he's conquered by the love of his devotee. How Bhishma attracted the Lord, forced the Lord to come and be present in front of him by his surrender to the will of the Lord. So, and the love that the devotees of Hastinapur had for the Lord exhibited when he was departing. And the love that the Dwarkavasis had for the Lord when he returned after a, a long time. So from chapter 7 to 11, the, the glory of the Lord is described and how he is completely overcome and becomes subdued 
by the love of his devotee the power of love of the devotee is described this is exactly what the bhagavatam is offering nigamakalpataro galitam phalam dharma prochita kaita votra paramo irmat saranam sada in chapter 13 14 and 15 the reciprocation of the devotees with the lord is demonstrated shunya itam jagat sarvam govinda virahena me lord chaitanya in his shikshastakam prayer the ultimate the crest jewel of devotees when lord descended in the form of his ultimate devotee shrimati radharani's mood and uh, the bodily functions he spoke only eight verses and within that he expressed what is that love shunya itam if the lord is not there then there is no meaning and purpose to living he has nothing to do he has nothing to do with the law i mean nothing to do with this world if there is no opportunity to serve the lord with love and devotion asti seva padaratam pinashtamam adarshanam varmatam karu even the lord says the same thing the devotees are saying shunyaitam jagat sarvam govinda virahena this whole world creation is a dreary void without the presence of the lord without service to the lord even if he is not present okay but service to the lord and the lord practically says the same thing in the ninth canto of shrimad bhagavatam in the instance of durvas muni who offends ambrish maharaj with that regard vaya durvas muni the lord is declaring to the whole world aham bhakta paradhino hi asvatantra iva dvija aham bhakta paradhino i am completely dependent He is supremely independent, but he says, "I am completely dependent." I am bhakta paradhino, aswatantra eva. As if I have no independence. Whatever they say, I have to do. Sadhu bhir grasta hridayo. They have captured me in their heart. They can sell me where they want. I am sold out to them. Sadhu bhir grasta hridayo, bhaktair. bhakta jana priya they are so dear to me that anyone who is dear to them is dear to me also love me love my dog as prabhupad said so the devotees are so dear anyone who is dear to them so the easy path of becoming dearer to krishna is just becoming dear to his devotee that's the easy way when you please krishna you really don't know whether he is pleased or not because he is always smiling you disobey still he is smiling mur kahin ka and you obey him he is still smiling so you really don't know whether he is actually satisfied or not he is pleased or not but devotees are different they very easy to please give them little mahaprasad <laughs> they don't feel that anything they become so happy and you can tangibly experience that and they tell you how to please them also actually sometimes they don't say but they you know what pleases them and then he says <clears throat> there is a later in that particular verse he says This is the verse. Na ham atmanam asha se mad bhaktir sadhu bhir vina. 
श्रियम चात्यंत की ब्रह्मन येशाम गतिम अहम पर न हम आत्मा नम आशा से मद भक्ते साधु भीर बिना विथाउट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ माई डिवोट इज ऑल माई ऑपिलेंसेस ऑल माई ग्लोरीज ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड सीम्स अवॉइड दैट मीन्स द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड बिकम्स ए ड्रेरी वॉइड विदाउट माई डिवोटीज स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड इज ग्लोरियस बिकॉज द लॉर्ड इज विथ इज डिवोटीज सो द लॉर्ड इज ऑल्सो सेंग द सेम थिंग साधव हृदय मह्यम साधु नाम हृदय तो हम अदन्य ते न जानती ना हम ते भ्यो मन गम वाय बिकॉज आई एम सीटेड इन देअर हार्ट दे आर सीटेड इन माय हार्ट दे डोंट नो एनीथिंग बट मी आई डोंट नो एनीथिंग बट देम दिस इज एक्जैक्टली वॉट द भागवतम इज ऑफरिंग एंड देअर फॉर एब्सोल्युटली अनकॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग Nothing short of this, and therefore, Bhagavatam is what it is. Now the question comes: All right, if this ultimate treasure, Prema Pumartho Mahan, the Panchama Purushartha Prema, is the ultimate goal of life. what is the qualification to achieve this and what should be done so that everyone in this planet can receive this love and that is described in the 12th chapter between 6 to 11 where the lord's love for his devotee 13 14 15 the devotee's love for the lord in between is a 12th chapter the birth of emperor parikshit wherein it is described what kind of leadership should be present for all the citizens the praja to receive this nothing short of this caliber of leadership is required and that is why from next few verses this is text 11 10 and 11 from 12 onwards as soon as maharaj parikshit is born the brahmanas are called <clears throat> and they foretell seeing his chart by his birth constellation they exactly tell what will be the qualities of this personality how he will be the ultimate leader and actually if anyone wants to give a leadership seminar please read from 12 onwards 1 12 12 onwards what the brahmanas foretell about the qualities anshula prabhupad in the purport elaborately describes what those qualities mean and how to acquire <coughs> them <coughs> imam rajarshayo viduhu in krishna in the bhagavad gita also says the same thing imam vivaswate yogam proktavan aham avya vivaswan manave pra manurikshva kavi bravit generally this knowledge of the uh, relationship eternal relationship of the lord with the devotees was given to the saintly kings externally raja internally rishi that's raja rishi actually there is no difference between a king and a 
ultimate renunciate or a great devotee in any other order of life or status of life other than the fact that the external position so there is brahmarshi there is rajarshi but of course rajarshi because of that position that they take certain qualifications are necessary but internally they are also equally devoted and equally renounced but only thing is externally their position is different that's actually a rajarsh <clears throat> and prabhupad explains in that uh in that purport to 4.1 and 2 imam rajar shayo vidu he says three important words he uses he said the actually i'll read that exact words human life is meant for cultivating cultivation of spiritual knowledge in eternal relationship with the supreme personality of godhead that's the only purpose bhagavan sambandha bhakti abhideya hoy prema prayojana vede teena vastu koy that's all the purpose of veda is to know only three things who's god who am i and what's my relationship mamai vamsho jeeva loke jeeva bhuta sanatana then how to re establish that relationship abhideya and why should i establish that relationship prayojana because that's the ultimate purpose that's what we are hankering for whatever we are hankering for in a gross or subtle way in a perverted or in a pure way ultimately is f- the uh, fulfillment of that would be yayatma suprasidati ahaituki apratihata yato bhaktir adhokshaji nothing short of that will ever satisfy the soul so therefore the king the emperor the ruler the executive head anyone of the planet as earlier of a country of a kingdom or a state or of a community or a family guru na sasyat vadran na sasyat pita na sasyat जननी सस्याद दैव न सस्याद पति न सस्याद अमोचये तत्समेत मृत्यु एनी वन बाय डिफॉल्ट टेकिंग अप ए पोजिशन ऑफ लीडरशिप एंड हू इज अ लीडर हु लीड्स नॉट नेसेसरली बाय पोजिशन इट कुड बी जस्ट बाय बाय द एग्जाम्पल बाय डिफॉल्ट on behalf of the lord tomeva mata pita tomeva tomeva bandhu sakha tomeva ultimately pita hama sa jagato mata dhata everything is krishna only krishna is the ultimate mother krishna is the ultimate father krishna is the ultimate master so anyone who takes the position of relationship he has to if if he truly wants to fulfill that role in that position he has to be a representative of the lord so uh so prabhupad explains here human life is meant for cultivation of spiritual knowledge in eternal relationship with the supreme personality of god and the executive head of all states and all planets are obliged to impart this lesson to the citizen by education culture and devotion this is the responsibility whether we are 
parents, whether we are teachers, whether we are leaders at different level, department head or institutional head or community head. But if you are a head, then this must be in your head. <laughs> These three words. We are obliged, we are obliged to impart this knowledge, this, this uh, essence through education, culture and devotion. To do that, you need a system. And to do that and to sustain that, you need virtues. Unless we have the virtues, actually we believe in it. We cannot impart it. It will be lip service. So therefore they have to exemplify that by virtues. And then mere virtue without a robust, efficient system will be <clears throat> unsustainable. Therefore, in a society, the need of cooperation between the executive leadership and the spiritual leadership. The spiritual leadership was represented by the brahmanas, the religious heads, the sannyasis. And the kings and the executive heads represented, uh, you know, they were responsible for material prosperity so that there is peace and harmony. But peace and harmony can be created even otherwise. But the purpose of peace and harmony is harmoniously and peacefully one can achieve the perfection of life. So the spiritual heads were supposed to keep the spirit alive. And the administrative heads were, were to make sure that no unwanted, unfavorable things are encouraged. Paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya cha dishkritam dharma samsthapanarthaya. This is why Lord comes. And if somebody is a Naradeva, he is a representative of the Lord on this earth, he is supposed to do the exactly same thing. How? By education, system. He should establish such systems where everyone from day one, from the womb of their mother, are educated about what is the only, one and only goal of life. Everything else should be secondary to that. Nothing else should be the goal. Vyavasayatmika buddhir ekeha krodanda. Ananya bhakta. This is the only goal. Everyone should be educated. And, okay, I know what is the goal, but is the culture favorable? So create an environment you know, when, when we were in college, we used to have this, you have to culture some bacteria, culture some particular kind of living entities. So to culture, you have to create a particular environment where they naturally grow. As soon as a favorable environment is, whatever environment is created, that kind of attitude, that kind of qualities grow and the opposite of that reduced. So it was the responsibility of the leadership to create a culture. Anyone who walks into that environment or that culture automatically knows, just like somebody comes into this temple, even a child comes into the temple, as soon as everyone comes, he just falls flat. First they wonder, which direction me gira? Who is there in front They don't understand. Tuck, then here, tuck, then here, tuck. What are you doing? All the places are like But naturally, some humility comes, hopefully, someday. Just by falling flat. 
just by bowing down. And there is a sense of respect. You touch everything and touch to your forehead. What does that mean? This is sacred. This cannot be used uh, for my sense gratification. This is meant for Lord's service. Anything here is very holy, very sacred. So in a Kanishtha level, at least learn to see God in the temple. Learn to see everything in relationship to the Lord. Learn to see everyone in relationship to the Lord. Not for your enjoyment, but to serve. And hopefully, by cultivating it through knowledge, first comes culture. So some people come, they just learn the culture. Tadak, tadak, they may do sometimes uh, mechanically. But then, okay, by culture, sunna chahiye, abhi aashadi ye kaadashi, baiht ke sunna chahiye, kuch katha hona chahiye, kuch bhajan hona chahiye. Good. The culture is there. But when that culture, it becomes more meaningful. Why am I doing what am I doing? When there is education. When we are taught scientifically, logically, systematically. Oh, achha. Wow, what a culture we have in India. Garu se ka ho, hum bharati hai. So this is the culture that has been preserved by this powerful cooperation of the executive heads and the spiritual heads. This combination is extremely powerful. In one sense, a deadly combination <laughs> for Maya. <laughs> and very wonderful combination for spiritual culture. Prabhupada, in one place, speaks about the cooperation of Ashoka to spread Buddhism. After the Kalinga war, Ashoka, the great emperor, he saw blood and his life was completely transformed. He accepted Buddhism and as soon as he accepted, everything else was kicked out of India and Buddhism was established, not only in India, but also in the neighboring countries. That is the powerful combination of uh, spiritual exemplification of virtues by the spiritual leadership and the executive heads doing, making sure that education systems are established where there is education, where there is culture and culminating in devotion. And it's nothing new. Take the example of Lord Krishna, the ultimate spiritual, the supreme personality of Godhead. In the Bhagavad Gita, he tells his, his uh, heart, Suhridam Sarva Bhutanam. How much he's concerned he is considered a I don't hate anyone. I love everyone. And I'm equal to everyone. I simply the own the whole purpose of material creation is only one thing. To give opportunity for the rebellious souls to come back to him. That's all. The essence of the purpose of creation of this material world is only one thing. Imagine what a Powerful system he has developed. System of justice. Karmano api bodhavyam, bodhavyam cha vikarmana, akarmana cha bodhavyam, gahana karmano gati. Very intricate because your mindset is intricate and your activities are very intricate. Manasa, vacha, karmana. So therefore, I have established a perfect system of justice. Don't worry. The mills of God grind slowly, but exceedingly fine. System of rewards, system of punishment. 
ऊर्धम गच्छन्ति सत्वस्था मध्ये तिष्ठन्ति राजसा अधो गच्छन्ति तामस परफेक्ट सिस्टम्स इफ यू डू लाइक दिस यू विल बी अवॉर्डेड इफ यू डू अदरवाइज इट्स अप टू यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड आई हैव रिटन डाउन यू आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर इट आई नॉट आई मी एंड द सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी चातुर वर्ण्य माया सिस्टम according to different people's natures their propensities their inclinations i have created the orders united in their motive vishnu aradhate panta nanyat tattosha karanam varnashrama acharvata purushena parapumada only purpose of varnashrama is the hand the head the belly and the legs ठीक है वेर एवर यू आर विच एवर पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी यू बिलोंग टू ऑफ द यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म जस्ट डू यूर पार्ट विद द इंटेंशन ऑफ प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ वंस एक्सिस्टेंस टू ग्लोरिफाई द लॉर्ड बाय युअर एंड एवर स्वकर्मणा तम अभ्यर्च सिद्धि मिंदती मानवा बाय योर एक्टिविटीज बाय योर इंक्लिनेशन बाय योर प्रोक्लिविटीज एंगेज दैट एंड ऑफर इट टू कृष्णा दैट सॉन्ग And what an amazing supervision! Upper wala sab dekhta hai. You know there was an advertisement for uh, cameras. What do you call it? CC camera. Camera. Upper wala sab dekhta hai. Sarvasti cha ham rudi sanni vishto upadrista anumanta bharta bhokta maheshwara paramatma ti cha apyukto deheshmin purusham param. Everyone's heart. There is a camera established. और कहा जाए तू जहां भी देखेगा वो भी देख रहा है तू जो सोच रहा है वो भी समझ रहा है तू जो कर रहा है नोट डाउन हो रहा है हमारी गुण चीट यू मे चीट द होल वर्ल्ड यू मे चीट यूर सेल्फ बट यू कैन चीट हेम वॉट अ सुपर सिस्टम एंड if you read mahabharat the biggest parva of mahabharat is anushasana parva thick huge almost like 20 more than 20000 verses are instructions of bhishma on the arrow you know of a bed of arrows he is speaking such clear and precise instructions on how to govern so that sitting at one place like the paramatma practically you should have systems that sitting at one place you have the full understanding of how things are we wonder sometimes how is yudhishthir mara sitting there and knowing everything how does lord ram sitting in one place gets oh dhobi ne kya bola dhobin ko early morning you would get up at 2:30 and eight representatives from he had a full system of uh spies and they would come and report first thing in the morning they would come and report what happened in the last 24 hours the pulse of the state the pulse of the people's heart the pulse of administrative setup the pulse of what is the situation in the ground there as far as possible you can of course as it is told in this purport a jeeva is limited and the lord is unlimited in terms of time and space no one can ever imitate the lord but the system is there to be as effective as possible so that through education culture and devotion everyone is given the opportunity in the whole parampara we see shri pad ramanujacharya he set up a system that thousand years down the line still you can see that going in spite of kaliyuga we we see we establish a system 
and right in front of our own eyes everything is finished especially in kali yuga to to be on top of it it's it's so frustrating and so um, difficult but they they are the visionaries they see and potentially set up things while exhibiting the virtue themselves they have the vision to set up a system so that it can go on madhvacharya 800 years before established his matha and knowing to make it sustainable even after him he established eight mathas so that that all like his gbc governing body and he said somebody will be taking care and that time all others will be spreading the message so you need to practice you know charge yourself in your particular time of service to the lord and rest of the time you go and share that good fortune and mercy with everyone else and in this way what he established is still going on 800 years down the line shri chaitanya mahaprabhu supreme lord himself when he came he personally demonstrated tyaktva sudustyaj surepsita rajya lakshmim dharmishtha aryavacha sa yadagadaranyam maya mrgam daitaye psita manva dhavat vande mahapurushate charana arvindam bhagavad describes 11th canto why lord chaitanya took sanyas tyaktva sudustyaj very difficult to give up such loving mother ready to die a million times just to just to make him comfortable and happy and please him wife so chaste associates ready to die just to give pleasure to him but he renounced all of them tekswa sudustyaja sura ipsita even demigods aspire for such name and fame one morning mahaprabhu declared i am going to uh, declare non cooperation with the kazi millions of people gathered by afternoon and with their own torches own oil own stick and old cloth it's not that mahaprabhu had to send trucks and you know along with some thoda aa jao yaar sham ko thoda you don't bother kisko main jo bolunga jay jay karte rehne ka bas millions ke millions literally that was his influence sura ipsita rajya lakshmi that kind of opulence why dharmishtha he had come here to establish dharma yad agad aranyam you know he left maya mrgam to these people who are lost to maya they have become a dancing dolls in the hands of maya poduya all the so called scholars all the karma nishtha all the mayavadis he drowned everyone within his love of god that is why he actually left anvadhavat he ran south india then towards brindavan varanasi so personally he did that whomever he embraced you know infused them with love of god but knowing that this has to go on he established his gbc also and his gbc were the six goswamis nana shastra vicharanai ka nipuno sad dharma samsthapaka loka naam hitakarino whose only business they renounced this world and what kind of what kind of caliber what was the qualification two of them were the finance minister and one was the chief minister of the whole of bengal and extending till vidyanagar that is still uh, uh, andhra pradesh today's andhra pradesh
no bengal and this side more on the northern side so they were running the whole show in absence of that nawab of course they were by force they were involved whatever but they had the skills the ability and raghunath das goswami huge zamindar he knew how to organize everything so each of these personalities and he gave them essential instructions number 1 excavate the holy places of vrindavan so that everyone will come and take shelter establish temples and elaborate temple worship so that people actually in the, the true concept of a temple is not simply go ring the bell and take little prasad temple is actually a university of higher education it's a that's what it is meant for it's a university of higher education with satellite centers and spread all over <laughs> that's what the purpose of all the acharyas why they establish temples madhvacharya established a temple which is the headquarters and through that people are going all on the world when i was in the west i saw some of the followers of madhva philosophy they they're sitting there and conducting bhagavad gita classes and training and how to recite and bhagavatam courses and all of this free of cost in fact prasadam is given free it was supported by these leading personalities the powerful vaishyas and the kings all of this was supported by the government because they understood it is their responsibility this is the heart if this is correct if the mood is attitude is right then life is going to be perfect then material ups and downs they can tam sitiksha sabharat interesting india was ruled by foreign powers for more than 1000 years extremely uh, strong and uh, skillfully wanting to destroy this culture from the root this is the only culture after 1000 years of foreign rule has still survived no other place actually no other place whatever the original they practice whether it is russia whether it is america no one knows what was being practiced there because just by the rule of but these acharyas and the uh, and the uh, the scriptural understanding of both dharma artha kama moksha and simultaneously prema this concept has been surviving how is it it is just because this focus it's glorious how it has survived if we actually see that this that's why we worship them on our altar they you know like a series of personalities this is like a relay race as soon as they get the help of affair in the form of responsibility it's a big burden a burden of love and once the baton is in their hands they cannot seva se nivritt tab hoga jab isko safely hand over next walon ko kiya tab tak you cannot retire you cannot get out so they handed over the six goswamis did their job sat dharma samstap in brindavan but after lord chaitanya mahaprabhu's departure except brindavan where jiva goswami was there all over very people immediately were departing as soon as mahaprabhu departed all those who were dear to him in next 5 10 years everyone left their body they just couldn't stay in separation from the lord and so the next group 
of people and unfortunately uh just as they say a powerful acharya comes he brings order in disorder and when he leaves there is a temporary disorder in the order so there were so many tantrics there were so many sahajiyas who during the time of lord chaitanya associated and saw from him close quarters the way he was crying the way he was dancing and showing all the ecstatic symptoms which is very easy to imitate so right in jagannath puri where lord resided there was a group of five people who saw the lord externally but didn't understand the essence of what he came to give and what started was so many kind of apasampradayas even today it's some places it is still going on traditionally i mean from a from a core mahaprabhu's followers point of view shri chaitanya mano abhishtam sthapitam yena bhutale that's why we call ourselves rupanugas they they extracted the essence and they established so they wrote down the books the books were there but it had to be taken to bengal where lord chaitanya appeared in bengal and in orissa because of this other uh, tantrics taking up and other groups taking up so many things were going on in the name of chaitanya vaishnavism nothing was clear that is the time janava devi the wife of lord nityananda personally went and learned the whole essence of the philosophy under of course it appeared that she went there and from jeeva goswami she was extremely influential she had thousands of follower all over in bengal in vrindavan in orissa everywhere she took it upon herself to actually bring all the people together at kheturi which is about 40 to 50 years after lord chaitanya's departure first time under narottam das thakur whose uh, cousin brother was the he was also a king actually big landlord land holder so krishnananda datta he coordinated the whole thing shrinivas acharya another powerful personality and shamananda pandit from orissa these three powerful personalities very influential personalities called all the vaishnavas from vrindavan from bengal from orissa and held this four very very famous festival first gaur purnima festival at kheturi gram and in that festival to stamp that this is what chaitanya vaishnavism is about personally lord chaitanya and lord nityananda appeared they blessed everyone narottam das thakur at that time composed gaurangero sangi gane nitya siddha kari mane so if you really want to understand lord chaitanya's assess the pulse of his or the heart of his movement then you should follow his associates they are nitya siddhas and then started you know s- systematic propagation of chaitanya otherwise it was practically lost within few years of mahaprabhu's departure so there was a stage one where books were established holy places were established and then came the systematic propagation bhakti siddhanta sutri thakur he had this brihad mridanga he wrote so many books he distributed and also established the gaudiya mat organized way of systematically giving this otherwise we wouldn't be here shila prabhu part took it one step ahead while living itself he established his gbc knowing that later everything you know like maybe there was confusion and not only did he write the books not only did he personally travel give the heart of his his purports the bhaktivedanta purports 
which he called as his divine ecstasies. The heart of the uh, spirit of spirituality. And then he created a system also, a parallel line of authority. The gurus, the sannyasis who keep the spiritual spirit alive and the GBC taking that role of coordinating, organizing it in such a way that things can go on. But it's not easy. He, running one family, we see how difficult to keep everyone under, especially when they turn teenage. They want to become independently thoughtful. More independent than thoughtful. That's how the parents feel. <laughs> so international society, it's not easy. There's so many different cultures, but to have education, culture and devotion. So, um, basically I just wanted to uh, share this about uh, this, the Lord himself does it because he is omnipotent, he is omniscient, he is all-knowing. He can do it, even, but he effortlessly can do it, but he comes and acts like one of us. That's why Krishna says in the Gita, avajananti ma mudha manushim tanu maashritam param bhavam ajananto mama bhuta maheshwara it's amazing. It's amazing that even though Lord Krishna performed such amazing activities, still people don't believe in his godhood. They say, ah, Krishna, that means they believe. So if you are criticizing Krishna, that means you believe he had 16,108 wives. You want the you want the packaging without the product. Mereko mere gharme banaya hua sabun bechna hai. Par wo sabun koi nahi kharidega. To Tata company ka packet leke aaunga, mera sabun ghosa ke bechunga. To what do you call me? Huh? Fraud, chor, dhongi, whatever. So you want Krishna ne aisa kyu? That means kahan se tere ko pata chala? Krishna hai. Or shastra mein hai, haa, shastra mein hai. To shastra ko samajna kaisa hai? Tadviddhi pranipate na pariprashne na sevaya. Tere ko sirf packet chahiye, product nahi chahiye tere ko. Apna product ghusana hai. Manufactured in your fertile brain. So there is a way, evam parampara praptam. Even if you want to criticize, you study the whole thing, then criticize. Then we will accept it. Upar upar ka dekhe mat karo. Hey, tumhara Bhagawan ne gopiyon ke saath nacha. Achha? Tum maanta hai Bhagawan the. Gopiyon ke saath nacha. There are, it's amazing right here in India. There are people, thanks to education culture of the perverted sort, there are people who actually feel that Krishna Vishnu ko the nahi. It is a concoction of a poet just to give, just like Arthur Conan Doyle gave Sherlock Holmes. Actually, koi tha hi nahi. His mind ka imagination, a personality. You know, we read all this. Famous five, Enid Blyton. Or Secret Seven. <laughs> James Bond. It's a creation. So many people actually feel Vyas Dev created a personality just to write his book. It's a fact. When I discuss, sometimes I don't talk with people to preach. I just want to understand. Ye ke, iska chasma hai? Ye dekhta hai sa 
सो सम पीपल आर कन्विंस्ड एक्चुअली कृष्णा विष्णा कुछ थे नहीं वो भी हंसते हुए अच्छा क्यों बड़ा जबरदस्त बनाया आई सब बड़ा भी वृद्धावन वही जो है ना ये इधर उठे थे इधर बैठे थे इधर सोए थे कुछ नहीं है ऐसा दे आर कन्विंस्ड एंड अदर्स जैसे नहीं नहीं ही वॉज बट ए वेरी इमोरल फेलो लस्टी फेलो मिस्टिवस फेलो सम अदर्स आर लिटिल मोर लिबरल नहीं नहीं हिस्टोरिकल पर्सनैलिटी थे भाई हाँ यादव यादव लोग है ना जादव जादव सब बोल उनके उनके यदुवंशी थे वो यदुकुल वीर यदुवीर शिरोमणि यदुकुल नंदन अरे यादव थे भाई उनको लिखा है इतिहास में है उनके लोग इधर गए उधर गए सब लोग फैल गए हा ही वॉज अ पावरफुल वॉरियर क्या लड़ा उन्होंने वेरी एस्ट्यूट डिप्लोमैट एंड स्टेट्समैन श्रूड पॉलिटिशियन इसको किधर घुमाने का कैसा डालने का हा सम पीपल आर मोर मैग्नानिमस नहीं नहीं ही वॉज रेवल्यूशनरी सोशल रिफॉर्मर बेचारे सोलह हजार एक सौ आर ये रानी कहां जाएंगी उनके घर वालों ने उनको नकार दिया स्त्री शक्ति उन सबको स्वीकार किया उनको महल में बैठा क्या सोशल रिफॉर्म किया सुदामा को भी दे दिया सब कुछ ही वॉज अ सोशल रिफॉर्मर ऑफ इज एज पावरफुल रेवल्यूशनरी हा ही वॉज ऑल्सो ए फिलोसोफर क्या बोला एक बार गीता बोला आज भी लोग पढ़ते हैं फिलोसोफर थे वो भगवान भगवान नहीं फिलोसोफर थे रिफॉर्मर थे बोला हिला दिया दुनिया को एंड ही न्यू वेरी शूड वेरी एस्ट्यूट पॉलिटिशियन सम पीपल से इतना नहीं यार डिवाइन थे डिवाइन ओ निर्गुण निराकार निर्विशेष सर्वव्यापी ब्रह्म जब सगुण साकार बनकर आए राम और कृष्ण कहलाते हैं बोलो कृष्ण भगवान की अच्छा कृष्ण नोज वॉट पीपल विल गो देर फोर इन द सेवेंथ चैप्टर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ वर्ष भगवदगीता नहीं पढ़ा तो स्टॉप में खरीद के जाइए अव्यक्तम व्यक्ति मापन्नम मनयंते माम अबुद्धय परम भाव जानंतो ममाव्यय मनुत्तम कृष्ण क्लियरली से गीता अव्यक्तम व्यक्ति आपन्नम वो निर्गुण निराकार निर्शेष सर्वव्यापी ब्रह्म जब ये हम जैसे शरीर धारण करके आए राम और कृष्ण कहलाए इसे मनयंते माम अबुद्धय दे आर लेस इंटेलिजेंट वाय परम भावम अजानंतो ममाव्ययम अनुत्तम हाउ आई एम द सुप्रीम सम पीपल इवन से राइट ही वन ऑफ द इनकारनेशन दशावतार में एक थे कृष्ण भागवत से समथिंग एल्स एते चांश कला पुंस कृष्णस्तु भगवान स्वयं इंद्रारि व्याकुलम लोकम रड़यंती युगे युगे 24 फोर इनकारनेशन एंड देन यू से सोर्स ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दीज इनकारनेशन इवन लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा से ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सच्चिदान अनादिरादिर गोविंद सर्व कारण कारण स्पीक्स अबाउट एक्सपेंशन ऑफ महाविष्णु गर्भोदाई विष्णु शिरोदाय विष्णु दिस इज एक्सैक्टली लॉर्ड चैतन्यास टीचिंग्स विच हैज बीन प्रिजर्व बाय द गोस्वामी एंड ट्रांसफर्ड अप टू लस सो दिस इज वॉट एज प्रभुपाद इज सेंग दैट वन शुड नॉट बी एक्सेप्टिंग कृष्ण और एक्सेप्टिंग गॉड एज 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 इज सेंग हियर Uh, every living being is limited by time and space the lord is mentioned here in as supreme living being unlimited by time and space how fortunate we are that by through this connection to the parampara sam sampradaya what is this sam samyak pradayate the complete understanding 
of Krishna. Not only the essence, the spirit, but in a proper system where the whole thing Sakale neha mahata yogo nashta Even though the dint by dint of this material existence, especially in Kali Yuga, so many, we should be really careful. It's very easy to be diverted, to be distracted by apparently attractive things from here and there that may look appealing to the heart. But therefore, Jnana Chakshu, Shastra Chakshu, as Krishna says in the Tasmat Shastram Pramanam Te Karya Akari Vavasthitao, one has to actually scrutinizingly study scriptures. And by Srila Prabhupada's mercy, we have this university of higher education established all over the world so that everyone can actually freely, not only free, extra, class attend karega to khana bhi milega, prasad milega tere. Tu aa to sahi. How, how magnanimous, how munificent the Lord Chaitanya and his followers. So next week we will be having, we will be celebrating, observing the 34th anniversary of Gopinath Ji's appearance. So I would like to take this opportunity to also invite all of you, friends, family, and all connections, whoever you find on the street. <laughs> uh, of course, oh, invitation dene mein kya hai? I'm not organizing and managing. But please do come and take advantage of developing an appreciation to appreciate who is this personality, what is he giving, you know? And why is he standing 24 hours a day? Any of you are standing for two hours? He's standing since last 34 years. He doesn't even sleep. Of course, we put them to sleep, you know, mantra-wise we put them to sleep. But they are standing. And one devotee told very nicely, he said, Gopinath cannot sleep because his devotees are there all over the world. And therefore, see, he's there last 34 years. So many of our wonderful, uh, you know, powerful personalities who helped in bringing Gopinath here are not with us anymore. But they are with him in his service. But he is going to stand there ever. As long as there are people wanting to come and accept what he has to give. And he is a proprietor. He is just sitting in one place. We are the people. We are the salesmen. And therefore he is so grateful to the devotees. Who says, my Lord, you relax. You are standing with the Lord, you are eating the Lord, we will talk to you about it. Go and And therefore, Krishna is so grateful. If we can bring one of his lost child and say, Gopinath, I have brought him. You are able to do it. You are sitting in his room. He doesn't even say anything to me. He doesn't even say anything to me. Pachas prash, ek vakya bolta ho to pachas prashn karta hai. Tu aai dar, tu dek, tum logi sulja lo apne aap. So deal with Krishna, he will deal with it. We were all like that. Someone somehow caught us. Tu baid, achcha khichdi bilta hai, tu aato sahi. There were some devotees from the other one group. They came to know that good prasadam is served. They would come exactly at a time and take prasadam and go away. For 15 weeks, they never came up to see kiski kushi mein kichdi bata jar. 
वन डे जैसे ठीक है ऊपर जाके देखते हैं अभी वैसे खिचड़ी अभी तक शुरू नहीं हुआ है तो दे केम आप एंड देन दे सो डांसिंग सो दे लाइक डांसिंग एंड नाउ ऑल दे डू इज डांस एंड इंस्पायर एवरी वन इन देर ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ द होली ने श्री श्री राधा गोपीनाथ भगवान की शिल प्रभुपाद की ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम की निताय गौर प्रेमानंदी हरी